Hello friends, my name is Fishar and today we are going to look at the question cutting a rod to maximize the profit. Given a rod of certain length and given the prices of different lengths which is selling in the market, how do you cut the rod so that you can maximize the profit? So in this example, we have a rod of length 5 and then we have a length and the value for each length. So for a rod of length 1 is selling at $2. A rod of length 2 is selling for $5, a rod of length 3 is selling for $7, and a rod of length 4 is selling for $8. So how do you cut this rod of length 5 so that you can maximize the profit? So in, for this example, we have two all possible solutions. One is either you cut the rod of length into lengths 2 and 3 and get a total profit of 5 plus 7, $12. Or you cut a rod of into length 1, 2 and 2 and again get a total profit of $12. So how do we come to these numbers? So we'll use dynamic programming to solve this question. So on the first row, we'll have the total length from 0 to 5. And here we'll have the individual lengths they're selling at in the market. Here we'll also write the prof the value, the profit you can make by, by selling them. Alright, let's start from this point. If you have a rod of length 1 and you can only cut it one way, how much total profit you can make? 2. If you have a rod of length 2 and you can cut it only one way, how much total profit you can make? two pieces of one, so that is four. If you have a rod of length three and you can cut it only into one length, how much total profit you can make? Six, similarly eight, and ten. So if you have a rod of length five and you can only cut it into one pieces, the total profit you can expect to make is ten dollars. Let's introduce two into the picture. So if, if you have a total rod of length 1 and if you have 1 and 2, 2 is not going to play any role here. So we'll just take 1 from top. Now we have 2 here and we have 2 here. So if you have a total, if the length is 2 and you can cut it into 2 pieces, either 1 or 2, what would you pick? I would pick it in 5. I would pick so that I can sell it 2 as it is, which is 5. How did you come to this 5? So either the value at the top or you go back 2 here and add this value to it, so 5. So let's look at 6. So if I have the total length is 3 and I can cut the rod into 1 or 2 pieces, what value would I get? You go back here, from here you go back 2 steps, so here. So this plus this or this, which is maximum? Maximum of this plus this or this, so we get 7. So here we'll go two steps back, this plus this, or this, so 10. Here we go two steps back, so 7 plus 5, 12, or 10, so 12. So what I'm doing is, when I'm at a position, I'm going two steps back to see if I had 1 and 2, and if I had to cut for 2, I can make $5, and I'll add another $5 for this to, to get 10, or if this two never existed, what is the maximum profit I could have made till this point? So eight. Let's build this uh, particular row in the same fashion. So three is not going to play any role. So two will come as it is. Five will come as it is. Let's look at here. So if if three did not exist, and if we could cut it to one and two lengths, and the total length was three, the maximum profit I expected to make is three seven. Or we can go three steps back from here and reach here, so 0 plus 7, so maximum of 7 or 7, so it doesn't matter, so 7. Here, maximum of 2 plus 7, 9, or 10, so we'll take 10 from top. Here, maximum of 5 plus 7, 12, or 12, so it's the same, so 12. Let's bring 4. So 
if, if I sell for as it is, I would get $8. And if I cut it in this way, I get $10. So I would take $10. Here, I give you back four steps. I come at 2. So 2 plus 8 is 10 or 12. So I'll take $12. So this is the maximum profit you can make if you have selling a rod of length 5. And these are the cuts you are giving to the rods. So how do we get the actual answer? Let's start from here. Where is this 12 coming from? It's not coming from here. So it's coming from here, so we go up. Where is this 12 coming from? It's coming from here, so we'll go up. Where is this 12 coming from? It's not coming from here, so we know that 2 is in the answer, so 2 is one of the answers. And we go two steps back, 7. Where is the 7 coming from? It's not coming from here. So we go two steps back again and add another 2 here. Where is this 2 coming from? Right here. So we go up. And then we know that this 2 is coming from here. So we'll add 1 here. And we come at this point. So as soon as we reach the 0 column, we are done. So the one of the final answers is 1, 2, 2. What would the code look like? If J is greater than or equal to I, then T of I, J is equal to a T of, then T of I, J is equal to max of T of I minus 1, J, or value of i plus t of i j minus i else t of i j is equal to t of i minus 1 j to get the full solution for this question, uh, you can go to github.com mission piece interview wiki. Thanks for watching this video.